Concussions don't necessarily, you don't necessarily need to black out to have a concussion and you don't need to be hit by something to have a concussion, right? So it comes from a direct or an indirect force. And so if you think of these animals, for example, that's an example of a direct force. Like they're hitting something, they're hitting something repetitively. But realistically, so that's, you know, <coughs> that's pretty obvious what's happening. In terms of humans, if we think of all the different ways that we could, you know, directly or indirectly have a force that causes basically our brain, as you said, so if our brain's covered by our skull, to hit our skull and come back, that's the impact that we care about, right? It's not something hitting our head, it's actually the brain moving in our skull and hitting our skull.